One of the most frequently requested recipes on the One Pot Chef Show is for mashed potatoes. I've never quite understood why because it seemed like such a simple recipe I was surprised that so many people emailed me asking for this particular recipe until I did a bit of research and discovered that virtually no cookbooks or online sites have very specific recipes for mashed potato. They often request it for other recipes but do not actually give a specific way of cooking it. So I thought I'm going to remedy that situation by putting together a nice little video showing you how to make two different versions of mashed potato. The firm version that pretty much everyone's used to and a nice soft creamy version that's suitable for piping or just having the nice sloppy version that everyone loves. So it's mashed potatoes on the One Pot Chef. So mashed potatoes. Now the first thing that people need to learn when it comes to mashed potatoes is consistency is everything. You've got to get the right consistency in order to make sure it all stays together nicely. If you put too much of one thing or not enough of another, it's going to turn into a mess. So first of all, I have peeled and chopped one kilo of potatoes. Now I'll just, this is in water at the moment, so I'm just going to take ugh, one of these out. As you can see, it's a very small piece about maybe one to two centimetres square, about an inch piece roughly. You need to have small pieces. Smaller pieces will cook quicker and more consistently. It's like any other kind of cooking. The smaller the food, the quicker and better it cooks. So we put this in some water. I'm just gonna put the lid on and we're gonna bring that to the boil and let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. At which point we can take a piece out, test to see if it's cooked properly, the way you take it out, Give it a bit of a press with your finger and if it sort of smooshes up, you know it's ready to go. So we'll start boiling this and I'll show you what to do next. Well, it's been 15 to 20 minutes and we've just finished boiling the potatoes. I've drained them off in the sink. So first thing we're gonna do is just mash them up with our potato masher. All right, we've got rid of all the big lumps out of that. As you can see, because we've cooked them the right way, they're nice and smooth for the moment. So we're going to throw in about a tablespoon of butter. Excess off that. And we're just going to stir that through until it's all melted through. Season with salt and pepper. And just stir that through to combine it. Now at this point, you can add some garlic if you want to make garlic mashed potatoes. You could add cheese if you want to make cheesy mashed potatoes. Basically, this is your firm basic mashed potatoes done. So you can serve as is. If, however, you want to make it that smooth, creamy stuff, especially if you're trying to make it a bit fancy and you can use like a icing piper or something like that to sort of make an arrangement on the plate, then we can add something else. You can use sour cream, you can use thickened cream. I'm going to use a little bit of milk. We just add a small amount at a time, about up to half a cup at most, and you just slowly add it until you get the consistency that you're looking for. As you can see, I'm just adding a little dribble at a time, and you can already see that's becoming a lot smoother and fluffier. Ooh, mess, mess, mess. <laughs> That's looking fabulous, just like that. Maybe a little bit more. And that's looking just about right there, so I don't think we'll add any more there. So that's about a quarter of a cup of milk all up there. As I say, consistency is the key. You've just got to add a little bit at a time until you get what you're looking for. And there we have perfect creamy mashed potatoes and perfect firm mashed potatoes. First time, every time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash one pot chef show. And until next time, see you later.